when I was called up, I had to go from Long Melford to Colchester on my own on the train, which was probably about 25 miles, and that worried me to death. Because you'd not travelled far? I'd never travelled far on my own before. Well, then, uh, by the time I got in the army, done me six weeks at Colchester, moved out to Germany for three months, back to Dover. Then they didn't, there were so many national servicemen about, they didn't know what to do with them. So they sent me on a cook's course for three or four weeks at Chatham, where we were going to Stone in that little time. Then we, uh, we was going out to uh, TA camps, but that was all cancelled and we learned in the street we was going to a place called Korea. We didn't even know where it was. Mm. Uh, went out in 1951, September 51, and that's where it was until the National Service finished. There was a new regiment came up to the front line and uh, there was a hill in front of them where they didn't know whether it was occupied or not. And we'd got a platoon commander who was like a VC waller. He volunteered to take a patrol up this hill. And uh, there were seven of us with the, with the officer. We went to, uh, up the day before to have a look. And we were shot out then. But then the, the next night we went again and we went up the hill. We'd got it arranged that we'd have artillery cover, which would be fired just in front of us. And after we went up the hill, the fire was supposed to lift. Well, when the fire got too close, we radioed back for them to lift the fire because they was getting too close. So they said, well, we haven't started yet. <laughs> so that was occupied. <laughs> So we got out rather quick. Yeah. And oh, then, then that, on the way back, that we were shelled again and the platoon commander got hit. He wasn't killed, but we had to carry him back. And uh, I've never seen him from that day to this. He's still, uh, up until two years ago, I think he was still alive. Yeah. 